Assalamu alaikum my dear students welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we will be learned that how can we solve this math problem in this video you will not be only learn that how can we solve this math problem but you will also be able to learn that how can we do subtraction of fractions multiplication of fractions and division of fractions so let's start our today video to solve this question properly first of all we will write solution and we will write this question in solution again but before to start this video let's have a look on board mass rule that how can we use board mass rule and how can we apply different operations at different order so in board mass rule the first letter is b which stands for bracket so in first step we will simplify the brackets inside the question the second letter is o which stands for order in second step we will simplify the orders means exponents powers or square roots the third letter is d which stands for division in the third step we do division and the fourth letter is m which stands for multiplication so in the fourth step we will do multiplication but remember that we can do division and multiplication from left to right and the fifth letter is a which stands for addition so in the fifth stage we will do addition in the last and the sixth letter is s which stands for subtraction so in last we do subtraction but also remember that we can do addition and subtraction from left to right in a question which is based on board mass rule now let's start how can we solve this math problem so my dears look into this question there are many operations so we will use here board mass rule but according to board mass rule the first letter is b which stands for brackets so first of all we will simplify the brackets in this question so there are three types of brackets parentheses braces and square brackets so first of all we will solve parentheses then braces and in last square brackets so how can we solve parentheses so first write down equality here and we will change the mixed fractions inside the question to improper fraction and we will also do the subtraction of these two numbers inside the parentheses in second step so change the mixed fractions into improper fraction 8 times 1 is 8 8 plus 7 is 15 15 by 8 divide square bracket open 5 by 6 multiply braces open we will also change this mixed fraction to improper fraction so 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 divided by 5 multiply no we will simplify the subtraction of these two fractions inside the parentheses so again drop parentheses here we need to take lcm of the denominators so my dears remember that here these two numbers in the denominator are prime numbers and the lcm of prime numbers is always their product and their multiplication so the lcm of 5 and 2 is their product multiplication so 5 time 2 is 10 so their lcm is 10 no how can we do this further so we need to divide this 10 by 5 and multiply the result with 4 here but we can also do this like which one number we multiply with this number 5 that the result become is 10 that number will be we multiply with the 4 here so 5 times 2 is 10 so we will multiply 2 with the number 4 here 2 multiply 4 write down this minus sign here again which number we multiply with the number 2 that the result become 10 so 2 times 5 is 10 we will multiply that 5 with this one here so 5 multiply 1 no parenthesis will be close braces will be close and square brackets will be close next we will further simplify the numbers inside the parenthesis so we will write the remaining question as the same 15 by 8 divide square brackets open 5 divided by 6 multiply 
brace is open 12 by 5 so let's simplify this 2 times 4 is 8 8 minus 5 times 1 is 5 and 10 is in the denominator so we will write 10 in the denominator parenthesis close braces will be closed and square brackets will be closed now we further simplify the number inside the parenthesis so again we will write the remaining equation as the same 15 by 8 divided by square brackets often 5 by 6 multiply braces open 12 by 5 multiply so here let's subtract the numbers in the numerator so 8 minus 5 is 3 and 10 will be come here so here my dears the parentheses are eliminated only braces and square brackets are left now in the next step we will simplify the braces but what is inside the braces so inside the braces is the multiplication of these two numbers so here we will simplify these numbers to make the multiplication easier so this 10 and this 12 are divisible by 2 so 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 6 is 12 now my dears multiply the numbers inside the braces so we will write the remaining question is the same 15 by 8 divided by square brackets often 5 by 6 multiply braces open no how can we multiply two different fractions so when we are multiplying fractions we can multiply the numbers in numerator with each others and the numbers in denominator with each other so here in the numerator are 6 and 3 so we will multiply 6 and 3 with each other also the numbers in denominator will be multiplied in the denominator so 5 times 5 braces close square brackets close now in the next step we will further simplify the braces so again we will write the remaining question as the same 15 by 8 divide square bracket often 5 divided by 6 multiply 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 5 times 5 is 25 square bracket will be closed so in this step the braces are also eliminated no further is the multiplication of these two fractions but here we can simplify these fractions with each other these two numbers are divisible by 5 and these two numbers are divisible by 6 so let's simplify these numbers so 5 times 1 is 5 5 times 5 is 25 6 times 1 is 6 6 times 3 is 18 now again multiply the numerators and denominators with each other to simplify the square brackets so write down equality here and write down the first part as the same 15 divided by 8 divide so here i directly multiply the numbers in the numerator and denominator so 1 times 3 is 3 divided by 1 times 5 is 5 no my dears there is only one operation as left that is division now learn how can we divide two fractions so to divide two different fractions we will write the first fraction as the same 15 divided by 8 and we will change this division to multiplication and we will take the reciprocal or we will reverse this fraction so it will become 5 by 3 now we will simplify these so here 3 and 15 are divisible by 3 so we will simplify these numbers so 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 5 is 15 now in the next step we further simplify this multiplication so here the numerator will be multiplied with numerator and denominator will be multiplied with denominator so here 5 times 5 is 25 and 8 times 1 further simplify this number 
so 5 times 5 is 25 and 8 times 1 is 8 so my dears are you looking here that the answer is in improper fraction so we will change this improper fraction to the mixed fraction because the question was given in the mixed fraction so my dears to change this improper fraction to the mixed fraction we will divide the numerator by denominator so we will do this work in the rough work so we will divide 25 by 8 in the rough work here so 8 times 3 is 24 5 minus 4 is 1 2 minus 2 is 0 which we cannot write here so we will write this in mixed fraction is we will write this 3 in the whole part this one in the numerator and 8 in the denominator so the mixed fraction form of 25 by 8 is 3 whole 1 over 8 3 whole 1 by 8 so we change this improper fraction to the mixed fraction but remember that we can also change this mixed fraction to the improper fraction back by 8 times 3 is 24 24 plus 1 is 25 so we will write 25 here and this 8 will become as the same in the denominator now my dears i have another question on fractions that how can we apply both mass rule on fractions similarly first of all we will write the solution and we will write this question in the solution again after writing question in solution again we need to simplify or solve this question so my dears are you looking there that there are many operations so here we will use the bud mass rule to simplify this question but according to bud mass rule first of all we will simplify brackets there are two types of brackets parentheses and braces so first of all we will solve these two brackets so in the next step we will write equality and we will change the numbers which are in mixed form so we will change that mixed number to improper fraction so here this is in mixed form so we will change this into improper form so 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so the answer will be 11 by 5 divide braces open pour multiply parenthesis open so my dears here we need to add these two fractions inside the parenthesis to add these two fractions so we will take the lcm of their denominators but here the numbers in the denominator are prime numbers so remember that the lcm of any two prime numbers is always their product and multiplication so here the lcm of 2 and 5 is their product multiplication so 2 times 5 is 10 so 10 is the lcm of 2 and 5 you can also check it in the rough work so further simplify this we will divide 10 by 2 so 2 times 5 is 10 the answer is 5 we will multiply 5 with this 3 here so 5 multiply 3 write down this plus here again we will divide this 10 by this 5 so 5 times 2 is 10 the answer is 2 we will multiply 2 with the 7 here so 2 multiply 7 no the parenthesis will be closed the braces will be closed minus 5 by 29 no we will further simplify the numbers inside the parenthesis so we will write the remaining question as the same 11 by 5 divided by braces open for multiply parenthesis open so here we will simplify the numbers inside the numerator so 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 times 7 is 14 and we will write 10 in the denominator parenthesis will be closed braces will be closed minus 5 by 29 now further simplify the numbers inside the parenthesis so again write down the remaining equation is the same 11 by 5 divide braces open for multiply so add the numbers in the numerator 
so 4 plus 5 is 9 1 plus 1 is 2 and here we will write 10 in the denominator braces will be close minus 5 by 29 now here we need to simplify braces in this step but here is the multiplication of this whole number with this fraction remember that when we are multiplying a whole number with a fraction so we will multiply a whole number always with the numerator not with denominator so here i will simplify this 4 and 10 because they are divisible by 2 so let's simplify these two numbers to make easier the multiplication so 4 times 2 is 8 and 5 times 2 is 10 now further simplify this question 11 divided by 5 divide this is often so here we will multiply this 2 with 29 in the numerator and we will write the denominator as the same so 2 times 29 is 9 times 2 is 18 8 1 will be carried 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so 29 times 2 is 58 in the denominator is 5 so we will write 5 as the same minus 5 by 29 now my dears only two operations are left in the question one is division and one is subtraction so first we will do division of these two fractions and then we will do subtraction of this fraction with the result so first we will do the division of these two fractions so how can we divide these two fractions so the procedure is write down equality i write down the first fraction as the same 11 by 5 now we will change this division into the multiplication and we will reverse this fraction so it will become 5 divided by 58 and this part will become as the same minus 5 by 29 now we need to multiply these two fractions so here i can simplify these two fives with the number five so five times one is five and five times one is five and these two numbers cannot be simplified so so for the simplify the number so here we will multiply 11 with one and one with 58 in the denominator so 11 times one is 11 and one time 58 is 58 write down the remaining part as the same minus 5 by 29 no my dears only one operation is left that is subtraction subtraction of these two fractions now learn here that how can we subtract two different fractions so again we need to take the lcm of the denominator so here we need to take the lcm of 58 with 29 but remember this trick that here 58 is the multiple of 29 58 is coming in the table of 29 because 29 times 2 is 58 so remember that their lcm will be always 58 so we will write 58 here you can also check their lcm in the rough work but i know that if one number is the multiple of another so their lcm will be always the greater number so to further simplify this question we need to divide this 58 by this number so dividing 58 by 58 gives same one we will multiply 1 with 11 here 1 multiply 11 write down this minus here so again we will divide 58 by 29 so 29 times 2 is 58 by dividing 58 with 29 gives him 2 we will multiply 2 with the five, with the number 5 here 2 multiply 5 so further simplify this question 1 time 11 is 11 minus 2 times 5 is 10 and write down 58 in the denominator so by subtracting 10 from 11 gives same 1 and 58 will become in the denominator so my dears 1 by 58 is the answer of this math question and last my dears subscribe our youtube channel for such a math videos and for the solution of viral maths problems thank you so much
Thank you so much for watching this video.